Hello, hello, Old Dad here, and this is my prediction for Raw, and my wishes for Raw, because Sheamus versus Braun Breaker, never thought I wanted to see it, I absolutely want to see it now, and I'm telling you, my wish, I want Sheamus to win, I want Sheamus to win, Sheamus has been on a roll lately, and I think that he should win. Now, my prediction is Braun Breaker wins. Uh, Braun Breaker's also on a roll. Braun Breaker's really tough, and they're building him up. I want Sheamus to win. Now, as far as the Bronson Reed versus um, Seth Rollins, I'll be honest with you. I think that this is going to be a bloodline story thing. I think that they're going to ex expedite this because they're, tr they're, they're rushing it. They're rushing it, but the pay-per-view's coming out here soon. So I think that they're going to try to rush it. And you know what? Let's find out. So Raw's about to get on. I'm excited about it. Okay, so Liv Morgan's getting ready to speak with Raquel Rodriguez. And a strange thing, I'm a guy, right? The shorts she's wearing is really short. And I'm sure that it's for, you know, visual. what. But I can't help but wonder if it cuts into her leg. Because of where it is, and it's like right at the crease of her leg, you would think that it would cut into her leg. If you're a female and you're watching this, leave a comment below and tell me if something like that would cut in your leg if your shorts are like right at the line of your leg. Just a thought. So how old that thinks. Okay, so <laughs> War Games, yes. Yes. Why is the mask clear? It's Rhea Ripley. It should be black. Or white. Okay, so they just presented a match for War Games where it's Liv and Nia and their grouping along with um, Bianca Blair and Jade Cargill, EO Sky, Naomi. And the big news, the, the big news is Rhea Ripley's back. She's wearing a protective mask. Now that is a little scary because that's a bad injury. But she's back. She immediately says war games. I'm sorry, I'm in. I don't want to see a four or a five on five match. But for war games, yeah, yeah, I'd like to see it. And maybe at the end, we could watch uh, Tiffany cash in and become world champion. You never know. Okay, so the next match is going to be the LWO versus American Made. And what I'm really getting with this is the fact that it's a mixed tag. So it's going to be Rey Mysterio, Selena Vega versus Chad Gable and Ivy Nile. I'm all about this match. I'm pretty anxious for this match, but right now we're at a commercial. So. Okay. So Raw's going to be on Netflix January the 6th. I already have Netflix. So I'm I'm like set the only reason I have Netflix is for Raw on Netflix. I thought it was a month or two ago. It's coming up really soon. And they're showing Braun Breaker right now, which means that those two are still in the ring being like, are we ever getting started? Just just runs through my mind. Now, the match hasn't started yet, but I do want to point out, the team that I want to win is Chad Gable. I think that their build-up for Chad Gable has been amazing, and I would like to see a little more of Ivy Nile, at least in a more dominant role. If you look at her, she's a beast. She's got all the tools. I would like to see her do a little more. I like Civilian Vega, too, and Rey Mysterio. Don't get me wrong. I just want to see the other two win. My predictions? I don't have one. This could go either way. 
But I want to I want to see Chad Gable win. I can't think of the last time I've seen a mixed tag team match. I want to say honestly. I mean, don't get me wrong. They probably were there, but I mean, honestly, I want to say it was like Trish Stratus, and and uh, ah, I can't remember his name, John John Morrison. It's been a hot minute ago. It's been a long time, long time. Commercial. All right, it's back on, and. It's Ivy Nile and Selena Vega wrestling right now. Still the mixed tag team match. It's a good opener. I am amazed about how fast Rey Mysterio still is. I mean, like, he is fast, fast. Okay, they just did a Hurricane Rana where he bounced her up so he could do, she could do the Hurricane Rana on Gable. That was good. That was really good. That match was really good. I thought that the whole setup... Did the one I want to win win? No. But, I mean, I, I just be honest. I thought the match was really good. They just did this thing where... I'm telling you, Finn's either going to turn into a bad guy... Or Dominic's going to turn into a good guy. Because Finn keeps setting up Dominic. Now, do I want to see Dominic be a good guy? No. No, I really don't. I don't. But Finn being a bad or bad guy? Yeah. Yeah, I want to see that. And I want to see him get back into the main event page. Finn Balor is amazing. We're at a commercial. We're back again. They're going over Karrion Cross with the Wyatt Six. And I'm glad it's going on because Ben excited about this. So they really are on the same page. The Miz and Karrion Cross are on the same page. I'm telling you, if it's Miz's mind along with that group, they just got a major upgrade. And I thought of something during the commercial break that I just wanted to share. I just wanted to share it. Where's Drew McIntyre? We want Drew McIntyre back. He's like one of the most dominant people. Hey, if Randy Orton's out, give us Drew McIntyre. So Gunther went after Damian Priest, basically jumped him. Damien Priest whooped his tail. And then he was like, you may be a general in the ring, but on the streets, I'm the king. I loved it. I loved it. And now we are at our match. Sheamus versus Braun Breaker. I've been dying to see this. This is my match. This is the one I wanted to see. More than any other match, this is the match I wanted to see. So, fingers crossed, this goes exactly like it should. Commercial. So, it's back on. They're showing a commercial for War Raiders. Shame is still in the ring. Just waiting. Just waiting. Just so nobody forgets. We want him back. We want more of him. All right. Sweet God. He was going so fast. I'm sorry. He just hit him. And there is no way it didn't hurt. He was going so fast. Braun Breaker. Okay. So far in this match, it's brutal. And it's brutal against Sheamus, which is weird. Um, Braun Breaker's really taking it to him. I mean, I'm just saying that, like, some of the stuff that's going on here, you got to be, like, massively impressed with Braun Breaker. Commercial. All right, it's back on. 
Looks like Braun Breaker is still in control. And I've yet to see. Hello. All right, back to Braun Breaker's talking trash now. And he's like being like in Seamus's face, being disrespectful to him and stuff. You're about to see a fired up Seamus. This is where it gets good. Do I want to see Braun Breaker versus Ludwig Kaiser? Absolutely. Absolutely. However, this match was too good for that. Oh. He's going after Sheamus. Uh, okay. I mean, I want to see him come out. I want to see him, like, just... I want to see him succeed... Not this match. It was too good. It was too good. Still, still way super good match. But Ludwig Kaiser, he, he, he broke up the match. Disqualification. But man, was that match good. So they went to Seth Rollins and asked him if he would go ahead and join their group. And... The thing was, was he's just like, no, I know what, what he is. I know what he was like on top. I'm not putting him back in power. I, I think it's a really good story going here. It just needs time. We're at a commercial, but I'm going to go, before we go to this commercial, i got a question for you. Do you prefer the Royal Rumble or WrestleMania? Leave a comment below. Me personally, love WrestleMania. Absolutely love Royal Rumble. Leave your comment what you prefer. Commercial. All right, it's back on. They're talking about Dakota Kai. Now, I want to point out, so far we've had commercials. We've had Dakota Kai. And now we're having the recap of everything that happened with the women's war game thing. And the reason why I want to point that out is because Dominic and Carlito is still in the ring. Still waiting. Hopefully they're not jumping up and down. Unless they're trying to wear themselves out before the war raiders get here. Okay, so there was a point Dominic was going to get into the ring. And the dude just looked at him. And just like stared him down. And Dominic was like, no, no. Got right back out. It was great. So far, this match is pretty good. It's a decent pace. It's pretty good. Some of the stuff is fun. Some of it's funny. We're at a commercial. All right, so we're back. And Dominic had control for all of three seconds. And now he's getting beat up by the bald guy. Wait, no. Take that back. This is quite interesting. Dominic's really coming into himself. I just want to say, Ivar, the one with the big beard, he's pretty impressive too. I mean, like, he's doing some moves that's just like, outside of the Al factor, like some of them I've not seen. At least I can't think of. I might be just into the moment. This match is good. This match is really good. But it's mainly the War Raiders that's making it really good. There's some fun parts. There's some fun parts. Let's get... Now, if Dominic and Carlito wins, does that make them number one contenders for the tag team titles? Because that would be funny. So I guess that was pointless. War Raiders just destroyed them. I mean, this was a very one-sided match. And was a very good match. So far, the best match still goes to Sheamus and Braun Breaker. However, the best ending of a match so far, War Raiders. That was good. That They are a great tag team. Are they up there with Motor City Machine Guns? No.
No. Are they up there with the Minnesota Wrecking Crew? No. They would be up there with the Road Warriors, though the old school Road Warriors would just destroy them. Just throwing that out. So they just ended it with Bo Dallas, Uncle Howdy, and a message. And it was cryptic and all that stuff. But it's something I want to see. I, I'm excited about it. And you know what else I want to see? Yeah. Yeah. Bring him back. Commercial. Okay, so we're back on. And I so got caught up into it. Because I wanted to say about Lyra or Lyra or Valkyria. And they did a promo for her. And it was pretty good. It was pretty good. But here's the thing. I know she's good. And I do want to see her. I, I like how they're building things, though. And it's just piece of this, piece of that. Heck, I always called it the male soap opera, and it's looking more and more like a soap opera every day. Now, the New Day, they had a little thing going on, too. I, I, I'm telling you, it looks like they're going to break them up, and I don't like that. I don't like that. But the way it's going, I just wish they'd get it over with. Because the... I, it, it, it's... They need to come to the conclusion. This whole build, I don't like it. I don't like it. And it's like prolonged agony. But now it's Seth Rollins versus Bronson Reed. And this is something that I kind of want to see. I would much rather see it backstage. I'd much rather see this guy beating up that guy, this guy beating up that guy. But looking at the time, we've got about 20 minutes. Do I think this match can go on 20 minutes? Absolutely. My bet is still the bloodline interferes. The other bloodline saves them. That's my guess. Don't. I could be wrong. Because I've been wrong a lot lately. And that's wonderful. All right, let's get to this match because I'm excited. I'm anxious. I'm anxious. I want to see how it goes. I just want to point out that quick. Okay, so this match is going, and it's actually going as a match. Now, we still haven't seen Solo, and we still haven't seen Roman Reigns. I'm sorry this is going to come off a little weird, but on Bronson's Reed's tights, on the bottom where his butt is, has a patch, like probably a monster thing, I don't know. But it looks like he farted. It looks like he farted and it's a poop stain. I'm just saying. I hope I didn't kill it for you. I might even edit this out. But I can't help but notice it. Commercial. It's back on. Bring it back. So far, most of this match has been a Seth Rollins beatdown. Seth Rollins made a good comeback. This has been a pretty decent match. I'm, I'm telling you, I, it, it's going to be a shame if it goes south and it's interfered. Because it's turning out really to be a good match. I, we'll see. We'll see, right? Commercial. It's back on. They're on the top turnbuckle. It's interesting to see how this is going to go. Here we go. So far, we've had a pedigree and we've had a frog splash. Now, Seth Rollins has beaten people with those moves. So this is pretty good. And, and yeah, will it come to the stomp? Probably. Will it get to the stomp? Fingers crossed. So Solo showed up. Solo showed up. Distraction. Seth Rollins is getting beat up. What did I tell you? I, am I disappointed? No, because I expected it. But is Roman Reigns going to come out? I don't know. Is this over? Is there a beatdown? 
I'm anxious to see how this all goes, how this all ends. So it's over now. And I just want to point out, that was still great. Did I call the ending of it? Absolutely. Did we all know that it was going to happen? We did. Was it still good? Yeah, it was still good. It was still good. Best match? Without a doubt, Braun Breaker, Sheamus. Now, with that being said, the best ending, we go to the Viking Raiders. Still, I like this Raw. I liked it. What did you think about it? Leave a comment below. Thank you for hanging out with me. Thank you for hanging out with this Raw. And don't forget, bring him back. I'll see ya.